you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Kylie. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an Aladdin inspired face paint design. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every week when I post a new video. Without further ado, let's get to it. So the products I'm using today are Wolf White, the Rainbow Cake and Avatar. I didn't end up using that yellow one from um, FX. Oh, and that's the Blue Wren from Natalie Davis's Gold Collection, which I love. I have a three-fourth angled, short angled brush. And that is a Laura Coronel number two with the gold handle, or yellow handle, I should say. And that's number four, Laura Coronel brush. And some water and some glitter. And I sprayed the sponge and I'm going just back and forth quite vigorously, getting the color evenly on the sponge. I wanted to have the darker color on the outer portion and the lighter color more towards where my eye is. So you're just rubbing back and forth and then lightly pouncing the color where you want it to go and then building it up. And I'm kind of going in a C-shape motion around my eye, getting to the center, making sure I get that color on. You can always build up the color. I've done the exact same thing on the other side to even it out. Creating a nice frame of my face. Next portion is when it's still a little damp, but not too wet. I like to dab the glitter where I wanted it to shimmer the most. Now you can spray it on. There's varying methods of doing it. This is by no means the best, but I feel like it turned out fine for me. So next, I loaded my short angled brush with the Blue Wren color. Just went back and forth to make sure I had a decent load on my brush. And this is really, really tricky when you're doing it on your own face. I was trying to place the center portion of my jasmine crown piece on my face. As you can see, I'm just placing it gently where I want it to go and then pushing the color and then getting a little bit lighter as I go on the tip. Yeah, I should have been using a mirror, so now you see me get a mirror to try to do this better than doing it into the phone. But look how vibrant that color is. Oh my gosh, I love this cake so much. I've done so many pretty butterflies with it, and I think it's just a perfect piece for making a jasmine-inspired crown. Once I got my center to where I wanted it to go, I'm now making the different portions of the crown, doing small little scallops. And of course, I've reloaded my brush several times. A really good load can take you really far. So I'm doing another little swoop. On the other side. Loading again. And also getting the mirror to make sure I do this right. <laughs> I wanted to add some added interest and fun pieces, so I added some little scallop swoop motions at the corners of my eye. I think that just added so much. Those colors are so pretty. Of course, what you do on one side, you wanna do on the other side if you want it to be symmetrical. But of course, it's always up to you what you wanna do with your designs. Then I'm just 
going back in and smoothing out some lines, filling in some color where I feel like it's sparse or it looks like it's a little bit snagging. Next, I take, I think that's the number four brush into the Wolf White. I get that really nice and loaded. So I can add my little teardrops. Now I know these are not the best teardrops I've ever done, but I still think adding teardrops and fun little swirls make any design really stand out and really nice. As you saw, I added a swirl at the bottom and I think that just makes it look so dainty and delicate. And I wanted to add another swirl because why not? And of course, I love adding my dots too. I then add a little bit of detail at the center to really sort of bring the design in. And then I want to replicate the swirls I did on the other side of my face on the opposite side. And of course, what happens? You mess up. So I took a wipey, wiped it away. Redid it, it was a lot better. And then I wanted to add a little bit more outline to the crown and have it stand out a little bit more. And so I went in with the brush and I, I did that little added step of of detail there because I had the time but you could totally skip that depending on what you're doing and then of course the very very center I like to add a star or something to really just take it over the top and be super extra but again if you're pressed for time you don't have to do all the added things that I did I hope you really like this look and it's inspired you in some way, shape, or form. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment below. Let me know what other designs you'd like me to do. And as always, everybody has what it takes to be a BAMF and get out there, be creative, and I hope this is inspiring.